Hello everyone, glad you could make it. Welcome back to another Clicker Shape tutorial and today we'll be covering how to do calligraphy with a fountain pen. Now the folks over at Dryden Designs were nice enough to send me the pen for this video and uh, even though I'll do a more detailed review at the end of this video, uh, I think the writing will speak for itself, but you be the judge. But uh, without further ado, let's get writing. Let's get to it. You can do the uppercase and lowercase letters of monoline calligraphy. Now, if you haven't heard that term before, mono means single and line, well, you know. And you're, you know, I bet you're saying this isn't calligraphy. This is cursive. Well, you'd be right, but that probably means you're as old as me or older because they do not teach cursive anymore in schools. At least none that I'm aware of. I live up in Canada, so your, your mileage may vary. However, I think it's gone the same route as copper plate and other versions of calligraphy. Uh, it just isn't used anymore because, well, I mean, computers are here. It's, for most people, it's not as fast. It's not as clear as printing. That's why it's kind of made made its way like other versions of calligraphy. However, I think it's valuable to learn. <clears throat> and I mean, you clicked on this video, so we're in this together. Um, so I'm going to go through the uppercase and lowercase alphabet of cursive, aka monoline calligraphy. Um, normal calligraphy it has two thicknesses, right? Like a very thick and a very thin. You can try to emulate that with a fountain pen because it does have the tines, which are these two, um, two pieces of metal that are parallel that keep the, the ink where it is. Excuse me. But it is very, it is designed to write like a ballpoint, or a ballpoint was designed to write like this, but I digress. It's the, the difference in thickness is what makes calligraphy, like copper plate, modern, make it look the way it does, make it look elegant, but you can't quite do that with a, ball, a ballpoint or fountain pen. This is meant specifically for writing, day-to-day -day writing. Now, day-to-day -day writing, when this kind of pen was used, was definitely <clears throat> um, cursive. And I just thought this would be the perfect alphabet to teach or to show how it's done and give an alphabet. Some of the letters you'll recognize, others not so much. Almost did a modern calligraphy G. See what I'm saying? That's a G. But most of these were. <clears throat> Pretty cool, iconic, different from each other. But printing is just 
I guess a little bit more efficient. But if you're gonna write somebody a nice letter, handwritten letter, which I highly recommend, by the way, if you if you haven't done it, just really really personable. Show you that you took the time for that person. Highly recommend. But a fountain pen definitely just writes really smooth. I much prefer it to a yeah, average ballpoint. Maybe I'm buying the wrong ballpoints. I have no idea. But this just feels right. Get it? Is that too bad of a pun? Another letter that just what, goes like Okay, hold on. Is that? It's basically, a, it looks like a two, and I bet now that's all you can see. But that's a Q, not a two, a Q. That's just, some of these letters just, that's the way they are. You can try this at home if you don't have a fountain pen with a ballpoint, see how it goes. But now I'm gonna review the Dryden fountain pen. So first of all, thank you to Dryden. Uh, I honestly think this is the best fountain pen I've used. Now, there isn't a whole lot I've used, probably two or three. Um, but this is definitely one of the best feeling and much cheaper. This is around 25 Canadian dollars, so I don't know what that means to your region. Um, and it came with quite a few of these ink package par uh, cartridges, which there's black and blue, and that's around another $15. So you can see how this is more of a, a gift, in my opinion, for the pen enthusiasts. But it definitely, definitely delivers, and it is, uh, it, it writes very nice, as you saw throughout the video. Um, like, nothing, no catches, it just, it's just smooth. And you wonder, like, oh, how, how long do these little cartridges last? Well, I can show you that one cartridge I kind of just doodled for until my hand got sore and I actually dripped water on it like a genius but I kind of just doodled for a while and it just kept going and going and going and then if I even just kept just wouldn't stop so then after that one, there was even a, a final one where I doodled even more. I wouldn't worry about you running out of ink anytime soon. Now it also came with a nice little tool um, to refill. If you have any uh, ink at home, I don't know if that's really uh, something you have, but if you do, you can fill it up with very specific ink. It has to be fountain pen ink, something that is dye not pigment put on the screen so we all remember it <laughs> a pigment is an ink that is a bunch of ink is dissolved into the liquid the solution so there's there's basically two materials in it meanwhile a dye is one consistent it's soluble so it, it will dissolve into it and then it'll have just basically one homogeneous thing so the problem with pigment is that it'll dry up and fill up this and then block your little pen. Now, it also came with um, a converter, which is a functional, cool little thing that um, transmits any dye ink that you have into uh, fountain pen ink, which is Equiline ink. Um, you can also get Dryden's ink, which probably works perfectly well, but this is something I already had. So what you can do with this nice little converter is make sure it's firmly in, you dip it right in the ink, and then it draws it up. 
so now you have a whole bunch of this ink and you are ready to go using this still rice just as nice now you have a whole different color nifty little gadget it does not come with the pen again that's extra but if you already had a lot of dye ink then this would be obviously the way to go um, but for the average gift person someone you're giving gift to I would definitely just get, go for the cartridges because holy smokes do they last anyways that about concludes this video Thank you for watching, um, and thank you to Dryden for sending this. Take care.